Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Well, as promised on this Father's Day, that rain chance was going to stay on the low end side and it will continue to be that way as we progress into the evening hours. Though, as you look off towards the Hudson Valley, there are just a couple of showers that have managed to develop. We can't rule that out across the western part of the state over the next couple of hours, but uh, generally most places will stay dry. Remember, you can keep up with what's happening on radar while you're on the go through the WFSB weather app. So early warning pinpoint Doppler is quiet right now. Again, a stray shower can't be ruled out. As we settle into this evening, which Futurecast is kind of picking up on that possibility. There's a 9 o'clock for you, for example. Otherwise, we're dry. We head into tomorrow morning. We'll start off on Juneteenth with some scattered clouds. Now, during the afternoon, a weak disturbance is going to bring us a couple of shower possibilities, maybe an isolated storm. But you can see there are more areas dry than wet. So any of you with a garden, the lawn you want to keep green, you're going to have to probably do the watering. But there are small opportunities for rain showers. Again, as we head into Tuesday morning, morning and then as we get into Tuesday afternoon a few pop-ups and as we take a look at Windsor Locks you can see some of those clouds trying to grow vertically but really uh, it is dry right now 78 degrees a little bit of a breeze coming in from the north northwest uh, but nothing too crazy nothing to, you know if you're going to be grilling that that flame is going to be going crazy at all but uh, 10 to 15 mile per hour breeze as we settle into the evening hours those temperatures still hanging out into the 70s most places still 80 degrees in Norwich and we're expecting that temperature trend for the rest of Father's Day to go from the upper 70s inland to low 70s by 9 o'clock and low 70s at uh, 7 o'clock and then into the upper 60s by 9 p.m. along the shoreline. So temperatures tomorrow morning will start off in the 50s where they should be for this time of year. Juneteenth during the afternoon we could see some isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm, otherwise partly sunny, highs in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. As we take a look at the three-day forecast, the showers are going to be possible Tuesday morning and a few spotty in the afternoon as well. High 77, a cooler along the shoreline, partly sunny and summer officially begins on Wednesday and uh, right around close to normal for the high, especially inland. Now, as we take a look at the high temperature trend over the next uh, several days, you notice we're going to be trending above average well into the 80s Thursday and Friday. So that will be the next story next week thing we talk about. Also monitoring the tropics. This is an unusual area for development this early in the season, but we're seeing it off the coast of Africa. This has a high chance of tropical formation over the next uh, you know, day or so. We could be talking about uh, Tropical Storm Brett. Uh, and then here's a potential future path that's five days from now. So we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, still a way is away from the U.S. What we're going to be tracking going into next weekend, rain and thunderstorms, muggy conditions. So I think Friday we're mostly dry. It's Saturday and Sunday. Long range data hinting at that higher chance for rain and storms, unlike this weekend that's been mainly on the dry side. So your early warning weather forecast for Juneteenth, Juneteenth during the afternoon, we could see a spotty shower, maybe a thunderstorm, isolated shower Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, otherwise partly sunny. Summer officially begins on Wednesday, and then we have the Travelers uh, Tournament kicking off on Thursday, and the heat will be kicking up as well. 85 for the high, 90 on Friday, uh, and settled conditions at times Saturday and Sunday. Right now, not calling for a washout, but it may be a little dicey to complete golf, especially Especially with any chance of any uh, lightning around. So something to keep in mind, uh, those shoreline temperatures in the 70s for the most part, most days. Brian? All right. Thanks, Jill.